Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 2004 Vauxhall VX220. Now this has 775 horsepower, 447 pounds feet of torque from a 3.2 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine. The car itself now weighs 1,987 pounds, has off-road tyres, all-wheel drive and off-road suspension and it can now do 0 to 60 in 2.467 seconds. 105.093 seconds and going to a top speed of 249 miles an hour. So uh, yeah, this is quite a lightweight uh, sports car, uh, even lighter now than it was originally. Uh, also only had 197 horsepower in stock form, so obviously it's uh, a lot faster uh, now that it has you know 775 rather than 197. And uh, yeah. We've only ever had one other Vauxhall in this series so far, which was the Insignia VXR, which didn't post a particularly great time, it was about 2 minutes 7 seconds, so uh, yeah, far from the uh, fastest car we've had on this series. But this being a lot lighter than that car, and uh, yeah, also being a fair bit quicker even in stock form, should mean that this will be uh, hopefully better than that car. Now granted this did not have all-wheel drive originally, but the VXR did, so that's the one disadvantage this has, but I think the fact that it's so light and so nimble that the all-wheel drive really isn't going to make much of an impact on this, I hope, but yeah, definitely have put more power into this, but I figured nearly 800 horsepower in a car that didn't even have 200 originally is uh, more than enough. And putting a uh, even larger V8 more than a thousand horsepower would have been not not too extreme but probably not suitable at the end of the day so uh, yeah let's get around here does seem to have some traction issues we're struggling to keep it in a straight line at times and again this was a sports car meant for the road not meant for doing anything like this so uh, that's kind of to be expected, to be honest. Yeah, it is a little bit squirrely. Really not finding traction at all on here. Even with the off-road tyres. It's going to be lightning quick across the finish line, 178 across there, and a time of 2 minutes 4 seconds, 0 0.067, so not quite as lightning fast as the Ferrari FXX in the previous episode, but still more than 3 seconds quicker than the previous Vauxhall Insignia VXR, which was our originally our only Vauxhall on the series, so uh, that is still impressive. And it has been able to uh, beat also. That's fine. We've got a lot of uh, cars in the 2 minute 4 range. Da -da -da. Managed to also beat the Vauxhall, Volkswagen IDR, Citroen DS3 Racing, McLaren P1, Radical RXC Turbo, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6, the Lotus Elise Series 1, Aston Martin Fan Cigarto and an Alpine A110. So it's beaten some serious competition there, but it's slightly slower than a Lexus RCF, a Ra Ford Ranger Raptor, Audi RS6 Avant and a Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer Coupe. So uh, yeah, not the fastest time by any means, but it is comfortably in the top 100. And uh, yeah, it was reasonably quick. It just really wasn't able to put down that power all that much, to be honest. It was kind of all over the place with uh, trying to put the traction down and we'll get traction and put the power down and uh, yeah that's why it was nowhere near as a uh, confidence inducing as I would have liked quite frankly because yeah it was really struggling to get any traction on the surfaces that we were dealing with because obviously we deal with multiple surfaces there we deal with uh, wet mud wet gravel dry gravel and uh, yeah some uh, drier elements as well so uh, yeah it was really rather struggling there but still quick enough and uh, yeah certainly uh, quickest Vauxhall that we've had by a uh, comfortable margin. Nonetheless, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.